Now in this question then we're given a curve with equation y equals some function of x and we're told that it passes through the point 210 and given that f dash of x that's the first differential of x with respect to x equals 3x squared minus 3x plus 5 we've got to find the value of f of 1. So how do we do this? Well, first of all, I've got to get back what y is, okay? Or in other words, f of x. And that means, if you like, kind of reversing the differentiation. We've got to integrate f dash of x with respect to x. So what we have then is that f of x must be equal to the integral of f dash of x with respect to x. So if that's the case, then I've got to integrate 3x squared minus 3x plus 5 with respect to x. So you need to put that in brackets because we're integrating all of that with respect to x. Now in the usual way for terms like this, all we need to do is add 1 to the power of x and divide by that new power. So for the first term, we're going to have 3x cubed, add 1 to the power, and divide by the new power. For this one here, remember, it's to the power 1 there, so add 1 to the power of x, so that's going to be x to the power 2, and divide by the new power. For a constant, we should know that all you do is just put an x next to that constant. If you differentiate 5x with respect to x, you get 5. But we've also got to remember that we're going to have a constant of integration, and I'm going to call that constant plus c. You can use any letter you like. Now, we need to tidy this up. We can tidy this up because this 3x cubed divided by 3, that term there just reduces to x cubed. Then the other terms remain exactly the same. So we just write those in and we've got our constant plus c. Now we need to work out what this constant plus c is. So we can do that through this information up here. We know that this graph or curve passes through the point 210. So in other words, when x is 2, we would know that y equals 10. So we can put this down here that when x equals 2, y equals 10. Or you could say that f of 2 must equal 10. It's the same statement. So if we just continue down here, we've got that if we substitute these values into this equation here, we've got 10, okay, for f of 2 equals 2 cubed and then we've got minus 3 times 2 squared over 2 and then plus 5 times 2 plus that constant c of integration. So if we work this out we therefore have 10 equals or well, 2 cubed is 8 and then we've got 3 times 4 here, which is 12, divided by 2 is 6. So we're going to have minus 6 plus 10 plus the constant c. So 8 minus 6 is going to leave us with 2, plus 10 is 12. Subtract 12 from both sides, we then get 10 minus 12 is minus 2, and that will leave us with c. So therefore, the constant c is going to be minus 2. So that means that therefore f of x in general, okay, this line here, is going to equal x cubed minus 3x squared over 2 plus 5x, and then the constant is now minus 2. So when it comes to finding the value of f of 1, all we need to do is just substitute 1 into our equation here giving us 1 cubed minus 3 times 1 squared over 2 plus 5 times 1 minus 2. And if you work that out, 
you'll find that f of 1 comes out to be 2.5. Okay?